Well, hello friends, it's Nancy, and I'm here to start a brand new project. I'm a little nervous. <laughs> well, let's just say that. So what I want to do is I want to make a Christmas themed journal, and I want to use this um, stocking shaped book for the purposes of Sid Journal. So, first and foremost, I'm going to cut the text block out. And now the other side. Was easy. So I'll use these pages um, as templates for the inside pages that I'm going to make. Uh, this is a knitting book to make um, Christmas stockings. This isn't very super old. I think it was uh, 2003 and edited by Gwen Steege. So this was originally, came from Mary Maxim, which is, uh, well, it's actually not too far from here, um, half an hour from here. Um, there's another one in Port Huron, Michigan, but they have a catalog, I believe, at least they did for years and years and years. Um, so I don't know if you can still get this book or not, but it doesn't matter because Depending on how well this goes, you might not want it. <laughs> so the first thing I'm doing is peeling off. I don't know why I'm peeling these off because I'm going to be covering this up. Story Publishing, www.story.com. So I've got this piece of flannel. Oh, I want to take this. This spine is too stiff for my purposes. So I'm going to take that out. Oh, shoot. I just put a hole through it. That's okay. Okay, we'll fix that. But we don't need that stiff of a spine. So I will repair that. Um, but first I want to work on making the cover. So this is a piece of flannelette. And I'm going to use this as the base of um, the cover. Um, it's white with this little pale tan polka dot. And I thought that would be a good background because I want to use lace and um, it'll be in shades of cream and white and ivory. So hopefully I'll get enough lice, lice. <laughs> A place on there that'll cover up the words and the pictures. If it doesn't, I will paint the cover. But in the meantime, I'm going to show you a very special pen. And you're not going to believe what it does. You're just going to have to trust me. So this pen is called a, a Friction Pilot Friction Point. So it's F-R-I-X-I-O-N. And I'm going to trace around it with the friction pen. And when you iron the friction pen, the pen will disappear. So this is awesome for embroidery, quilting. I want to make sure that I'm leaving at least an inch of fabric around. 
the entire circumference, I guess. Perimeter? Perimeter. You don't know how close I came to tossing this book. I've been hanging on to it for a little bit, and then when I took it with me to uh, my little girl's getaway with Catherine from Sunnyside Journals, and when I told her what I had originally planned, she's like, oh yeah, you gotta do that. Sure, okay. <laughs> I haven't got around to it yet. Um, so I decided, Today was the day. So I'm just going to cut outside. Of the line. Leaving a a decent inch of extra fabric so that I can glue it to the inside cover when I've got all the lace on and also know that I can stitch the edges of the lace down after I get to the black line okay. it's pretty flat it's not perfect flat but it's gonna do for our purposes so I think what I want to do is just put an overall base of lace down. I think I have something here I can use. What are you? So this is a piece of I think this is a piece of a sleeve from our bridal dress. Let me see what else I have here. I think I must, I must have more of that somewhere. Here we are with some white, white lace. I think this is up. I think I got this hunk of lace from an estate sale. So I'm just laying down this flat base so that I can pile stuff on top. Now. You know what I should do? I'm going to put a few pins in here. And then I think I'm going to sew like a quarter of an inch outside of the line just so this doesn't move. And then I can trim back some of the lace and that way I'll, I'll be able to keep my line um, visible. So I'm just pin basting this. I feel like I'm going to sneeze too. That might happen. 
so I had a whole bunch of linens, pieces and parts of tablecloth and uh, pillowcases and doilies and things. So I've brought those up. I have a basket of chunks and I have some um, more uh, complete, <laughs> some complete, completer pieces. So napkins, uh, handkerchiefs, things like that. So I want to keep this as flat as possible. And I don't want to sew over my pins. That's a no-no. Can't tell you how many times I actually have done that, though. Um, I'm. I think this is going to be a a a, a project that I'm going to do completely on camera because it's not something I've done before, and it's not something I've seen before. So. Um, so maybe if somebody else sees this video, they'll be able to go, oh, well, you could have perfected it by doing this, that, and the other thing. And that way we can sort of burn, build on the knowledge base about how to do these shaped journals. Not that shaped books come up very often, but, I mean, you could cut a stocking shape from chipboard, make your own spine. Okay, so we'll just uh, gonna pause for a minute while I do this little stitch job and I shall return. Okay. There's that part done. Uh, let me see if I can shrink this a little bit so you can get a better idea what I'm doing. Okay. Uh, I decided I better draw this on this side as well. Maybe it'll be okay. All right. So I've pulled together a few things. Um, this... This, I think... We'll give that a shot. I do have some like little bridal pieces I could use. too big. Um, I thought this was pretty. This is a piece of crocheted lace. So you would have to come down if you want to be seen.
Sorry, I dropped some things here. Maybe some piece of bridal lace like that. It's a little smaller. I also have this fancy schmancy. You know what? I might like that fancy schmancy. Better than that. Let's see what we got in here. What if I put these little hunks of Battenberg lace down as toes? What if we put it right side up? Even better. See what else I've got in here as I throw it onto the floor. Kind of a waste, isn't it? Yeah, let's not waste that.
pretty, but not right. Um, what if I used a... Uh, let's put you back where you were. I used a doily here. I think I know what I want to use. Hang on, I'm gonna go grab it. Okay, so I got this creamy colored piece of Battenberg. It's got a stain on it here, but that will be cut off. And I thought instead of putting that great big um, applique of bridal lace on there, what if I did like a little snowflake, another little snowflake, Well, definitely this snowflake is good. Maybe not that one. Actually, it kind of looks nice through the camera. Okay. Alternately, instead of using that, I thought... I could use this napkin. What do we think of that? I have a slurp of tea and think about that for a second. Just taking a quick look at what other doilies I have handy. So I'm going to have to do, oh, I've also got this stuff. It looks like snowflakes. It's probably going to have to be pressed. Maybe I'll do that across the top. Okay. Okay. Got to iron these two pieces uh, and then reassemble this. Okay? Hold tight while I go iron. Okay. So I'm going to lay my ruler here and I'm going to put the edge at two, the, the black edge here at two and a half inches. And I'm going to use a little bit of. Um, Fabri-Tac. I will warn you now, I can hear my husband singing, even though he knows I'm in here working, doing a video. After I glue this, I will sew it as well. So I gotta make sure the right side is up. And I'm using the ruler to help me get it on sort of straight. Hope everybody's having a good weekend. Doug and I went for a ride this morning on the bike because we weren't going to have too many nice sunny warm weekends left and actually to be honest it wasn't that warm now I wanted to put this at the top so this 
So it's pretty much at the same two and a half inch mark. Must have cut this off something and not very straight. <laughs> Just going to do it. Yeah, so we drove out to Milverton to uh, a thrift store that I like, but I don't get to very often because it's quite a ways away. And, uh, Then we went to out for lunch to this place in Millbank called Anna Mays. Hadn't been to Milverton, hadn't been to Anna Mays since Catherine was here in July. Okay. At home, lots of leftovers. They always give you way too much food. Even even when Catherine and I were there, and we ordered the seniors portion, <laughs> we both came home with food. <laughs> well, actually, Catherine, you lost your wing, didn't you? It was a tragedy. Downright tragedy. And there's a hair in there. Got to get that hair out of there. Okay. Now, let's put a little bit. I'm going to use a little bit of uh, art glitter because it won't show if it does. If it won't stick as good as 3 in 1 or fabri -Tac, but it also won't show. And I am worried about glue appearing on the other on my other side of the eyelet lace Next, I want to, oh, there was this napkin.
and then right along the edge where the lace is. Put down the Fabri-Tac. Okay. Now, the Battenberg. one Let's uh, figure out where we put those needles, like the pins. Here's one. Let's put you away before I cut my arm off. And there's the other one. Okay, just going to turn this over and uh, do a little trimming. to get a look at what it's supposed to look like. Okay, that's not bad. It's kind of cute. And then, for sure I want this one. maybe lower down and we'll put this darker trim at the top okay so I'm gonna do a little bit of stitching I'll have to switch out my thread to white because I'm going to start with the the toe and the heel and then uh, we'll do some straight lines to um, capture the other laces. 
Okay, hang on. Okay, so I've got everything stitched down, except I want, this is glued down, but I'm just gonna go in with a little thread and needle and tack that down a little bit better. I didn't wanna sew over, because the stitching would show. Um, and I may just catch some of these edges of this napkin here as well. So let me do a little hand stitching. Okay, that stitching is done. Now, I did want to add this snowflake. I think I'm going to add it right there. Um, I think I'll start with a little bit of Fabri-Tac on the, on the bigger central parts. And then I'll use some art glitter glue on the outer parts. Does that make sense? I will need to do some hand stitching here as well after the glue's dry. Anyway, oh, I did get a couple of things at the thrift store I want to show you before I shut off the video. Um, also, I've got some vacation planned for me and Doug um, in October. I'm actually taking a week and a half off. So, He's having a little bit of a uh, surgical procedure on the 7th of October, which is actually our anniversary too. And uh, also Natalie's. Happy anniversary, Natalie. <laughs> um, so he'll be at the hospital for our anniversary, but, and of course I can't go because COVID, but, uh, We'll give him a couple days to recover. It's just a day procedure. And then um, I think we're going to head up to the Ottawa area, Kingston, Ottawa area. Uh, something came in my email or I don't know, Facebook or something, something social media. Um, oh, this one's already glued down. Good for you, Nance. Um, about, was it eight small towns on the Rideau Canal? So I thought, oh, that'll be nice. And the fall colors should be good that far north at that time. Um, so hopefully we'll have a nice time and some nice weather. Okay. Um, I thought about adding some jewels or some sequins. I also thought about adding this at the top. Okay, I'm, hang on, I'm gonna get those couple of books that I wanna show you. So this is the first book I got. This really needs to be cleaned up, but look at the, the, the evergreens and the candles and the, the organ. I have no idea what this says. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if we can find a... a date in here. Well, I guess not. It's all in German, of course. And it's, this is in der Christnacht, so Christmas Eve, I think. Hmm. But no publication date. 
Anyway, so I thought it's it was two fifty, and I thought that would make another fun Christmas journal. <laughs> In case I don't have enough. And look at this. Holly Hobby. So cute. Look at that one. I love these. And uh, 1978 is copyright. And it's just like the um uh the charlie charlie brown one it's sewn in so i can w open up this spine and make it much bigger so i think that's what i'm gonna do super cute all right so um the next step that i need to do is to make the curved spine for this um not a big deal. You've seen me do that a million times. I will just glue together two pieces of, or two strips of um, file folder and wrap them on my uh, rolling pin to round it a bit, and that will make my rounded spine. So, no need to show you that again, and this has been a pretty long, oh, I got this thread too. This was only $1.50, and I've never used this brand before, but it's size 50 and it's got 1,200 yards on there. I'm generally a Guterman thread user, so we'll see how this works out. There was actually three spools of this. So if uh, if it works out good, I'll go back and get it, get the, the other two, because that's uh, a color I use a lot. All right. Thanks so much for joining me to get... <laughs> One more thing because I need more lace um, blue tags were half off so this was only a quarter and it just has it's a collar so I can go out as uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg for Halloween or you know this would this would even make a nice top on that wouldn't it so maybe I will make a second one and let's just see what that looks like. Oh yeah, that'll make a nice top. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me. Um, I hope you're having a great weekend. We will talk to you again soon. Bye.